Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this is another fun yet extremely easy one in the terms of Mina and Michi. Now the game was developed by Light Up, rather like a games, published by East Asia Soft and is available for a deliciously small £4.19 although at this point of recording it's on sale for 3 35 so it's always worth watching out for any future sales too. Now this is Another, as I said, fun but easy puzzle game, and if you've played Super Boxland D-Make, Milo's Quest, Super Willow D-Make, etc., then this will be very familiar, as the premise and the layout is basically the same. The only difference is this time we need to control two characters at the same time, unless you're doing couch co-op, which is still very easy to get used to anyway. Uh, just think of using the two sticks as weird nipple play, perhaps. Uh, what? I mean, uh, what I meant to tell you, damn autocorrect in real life, was I'll just let you know how to control each character in just a sec. Now achievements wise it's very very easy again we're gonna find some keys, do some puzzles, kill two bosses and again you'll have a harder time trying not to do the disgusting combo of ketchup and mayonnaise. Ooh controversy! So 10 to 15 minutes for completion is all you're looking at. Anyway with that being said then let us begin. So to move, Mina is the left stick, which is the girl, and Michi, which is the half robot, half whatever the hell that is, you move him with the right stick. So left stick for Mina, right stick for Michi, and uh, so there's only just one path, this sort of plays like a tutorial level. Um, and the puzzles are very easy in the game as well. Like I said, if you played the games I mentioned earlier, then, well, this will be all very familiar with you. So we're going to head up. There's a button on the left. So get one of the characters, any one of the characters, to stand on the button on the left there. That'll open the gate on the right. Then we can move through. Also, uh, for interaction purposes, um, as we see, we'll pick up our glove. We pick up our first achievement as well. That's the Michael Jackson hee <laughs> hee glove, which... What did he use that on, I wonder? Anyway, here is our first puzzle. So, it's the right trigger to move things with uh, Michi, the boy thing. And then it's the A button slash cross button, if you're playing on PlayStation, with Mina. So, A for Mina, and then right trigger for Michi. I'm going to get so confused. Why didn't they just call him, like, Mocha and T or something like that? I don't bloody know. Anyway, so... That is the first puzzle done. They're the only puzzles of the game. Um, you just push boxes onto buttons. There is a silver key basically directly in our path, so that's going to unlock another achievement in two minutes. If you head to the left and head up right here, there's going to be another key, but do not use it on that silver gate. That is basically just a shortcut, and then you've just wasted a whole key. <sighs> Sorry, that, that, that was just a... A, a, a very poorly timed joke, sorry. Um, you don't want to waste any keys. And only the coke addicts will get what that means. Anyway, we're going to head all the way back out to the left. Oh man, I'm so sorry. Now we can use the key. Now remember, again, for any interaction, it's the A button for Mina or the right trigger for Michi. So, uh, you don't have to collect any of these gems, by the way. I just do because it makes me look cool, apparently said no one ever and it's the same sort of thing with the puzzle then so again it's the right stick for movement with Micha, Michi, Mocha, goddamn coffee head I don't bloody know I forget the names and there we go so the A button again for girl and then for boy robot weird eyeball thing it is obviously the right trigger so again that's just you will get used to that extremely quickly by now and if not then I apologize but we're heading down into the left right here and then what we need to do is get one person to stand on the button there get the next person to stand on the other button uh, so they can both get through collect all the gems so you can be rich and powerful in no man's land and again this is just another very simple box puzzle uh, by the way, ju uh, so just again, push the boxes onto the buttons. By the way, um, when we do come up to enemies, we need to be basically be using the boy robot thing, Michi. Because he has unlimited health. So once all that, um, all them are done, go up and then we will collect the Amulet of Might. It's like a cheap Thor, that, isn't it? <laughs> That's Thor 5. The Amulet of Might. Oh, look at him go. So basically we can now use weapons. So again, it's the left trigger to use Mina, or the A button, I believe. And it is the right trigger to use Michi's swinging arm Thor, cheap Thor attack. But like I said, for any enemies, we will be using, most of the time, 
we will be using um, Robot Boy Michi because he has unlimited health and he is badass and pumped. So again with the buttons make sure to get both characters through then use Michi with the right stick and then with the right trigger you batter the crap out of him. I bet Thor couldn't do that with his shitty little hammer. <laughs> God of thunder my ass. Uh, just joking of course. So if you go all the way to the right uh, the gate will now be open so we can get some more health which of course is pretty pointless because this game is easy enough but still um, and that gate will only open by the way when you defeat all of the enemies so if you try and go there before it won't work so we're heading up and going to all the way to the right now <sighs> and then we're going up going down and we're gonna get Michi to stand on the button this time now we're gonna need to defeat these enemies anyway but get yourself hurt and then run through the bushes one of these items will pop up it's basically a health bar or a little heart or something that will get us the achievement for healing ourselves. Um, uh, you do need to, to defeat both enemies to go through this gate by the way uh, but also you can get hurt and just run through um, any grass at literally any point in the game but I just thought um, we will get that out of the way. So use Michi Minis Minis. Why couldn't they just said like I don't know Ted and Podansky or something? You know we know who the hell is who then. So anyway, we need to be defeating all of these enemies now as well before we get the golden key. So do that. Do your cheap Thor swinging arm attack. I've never known Thor to do a real swinging arm attack, but it's just how it is now in the video. And um, we need to be solving this first, uh, this next puzzle as well. So again, this is very easy. So just push it down, get Michi to push it all the way to the right. And just do the same then. Push it down with Mina. And then push both blocks with both characters on to the buttons. Then we can move on. The gate has opened for us. I mean, in real life, I suppose we could have just jumped up on the grassy knolls here and grabbed what we needed. But, you know, video games don't always work like that, do they? So we've got our stamina now, that uh, gives us the next achievement. Um, we can now just head to the right, so get one person to stand on the button and we can go to the right. Uh, now there is another little puzzle for us to solve here. Again, it's all, you know, it is all very simple. And the, the, the games you've played in the past, this is very similar. Nothing too difficult at all. Uh, make sure Mina is standing on the right here. So when you push it up with Michi, she can push it there. And do the same with the opposite way around. So keep Michi on the left hand side. Push the two boxes on the right. And then what you need to do is push that uh, left hand side box all the way up. So Michi can push it all the way to the right. So it is very easy. But for some reason sometimes it, it can actually get it slightly confusing. Um, but we are going to be coming up to a boss battle now. Uh, easy. Again, you've had a harder time putting the disgusting combination of ketchup and mayo together. By the way, who does that? I'm just fat, so I'd do it anyway. Anyway, we go to the left and we now can use the key to go through and basically just use Mi Michi to just completely destroy them quickly as hell. Keep using his swinging arm cheap Thor hammer attack. Uh, without the hammer, and that is the first boss battle done in literally about six seconds. Peace. Fantastic. So all we've got then is basically one boss left to get. Uh, we've just got to uh, grab a, a certain key and come back. Now remember, Michi does not get hurt by these spikes, but Mina does. Because she's a fragile little flower. And Michi is... I don't know what the hell he is. But we need to be defeating all enemies in this area. There's only three there before the gate opens up. Same thing here then, defeat all the enemies in this particular area. There we go. Is that not overpowered by the way? Not only does he swing his arms, he has like balls coming out of his... <laughs> balls coming out of his balls. Um, get Mina there to stand on the button, then we can go through the gate, kill the rest of the enemies. And then there's a button at the top which Michi can stand on. And then Mina can go through. Delicious. Now, you don't ha Michi doesn't have to have all the fun. You can still shoot people from afar with Mina. So, you know, she's a badass too, you know. Give her some goddamn badassness. So, yeah, don't worry about Michi getting hurt. He will not get hurt at all. Which, again, kind of overpowers the game fantastically, really. But there it is. So we need to be pushing the boxes here onto the buttons. Uh, don't worry about the key. We're not even grabbing that key. There's one just behind the waterfall there. So don't forget to miss that one. And then we're going to head up. Uh, again, make sure to be a little bit careful with Mina. 
Um, obviously only because she can still get hurt. Somehow only get hurt a little bit by rolling death spikes. Impressive. Impressive. And I need to go to hospital for a, you know, testicle checkup. It's just, just, just I mean, um, for a broken finger. Um, anyway, we're going to get Mina now to stand on the button there. And Michi is uh, <laughs> going to... There's nothing wrong with my bowels, I tell you. My bubble bowels. Um, sorry, too much information. God damn it, too much information. So, you defeated all the enemies. The gate here now opens. Now, you'll have to be careful with this particular box. Basically, push this box all the way up. And then push it to the right, but not all the way. Just enough so you can actually uh, squeeze through. If you do end up um, failing the puzzle somehow, just go down uh, down the screen one. And then come back to this screen and everything would have reset itself. So do the same thing here all the way down. Give yourself enough space to push it open. And that is good. Now we can grab the key. Poifectimo, motherfuckomamo. You know what I mean, mo? And basically all we're doing is basically... Do I want to stop saying basically? Basically, yes. Uh, we're just heading all the way back to the left now. Um, to the boss room. Uh, we are coming up to the end now. We've literally got the one boss to, to kill. And job is the good one. And that's a nice, easy, cheeky one thousand and a platinum. So we're getting through the whole trick here. Stand on the buttons with each character. And then we go down. Obviously, we're going to be heading to the left once again. Get your big shooting ball power on the go here. And yeah, just take your time with Mina. Uh, basically, with this boss battle, we actually need to run away from the boss while Michi... Uh, hits it and kills it so you know again it's it is very simple and it only takes about three or four hits for the boss to die but you know just be aware of that so when we have come up here obviously we couldn't get to this area earlier because we needed the key so we just need to head up all the way with Michi there and then we can again with Michi use the right trigger that is how you get past things with robot heart whatever the hell he is boy there we go, I get there eventually. See? All's well that ends well. So this is the final area before the boss then, so again, just wait until the spikes go past, stay in the middle, very, very simple. Same then with Michi, but he is, like I said, he's badass enough, he doesn't get hurt by anything. Except emotionally. <laughs> Whatever the hell that was. Um, <laughs> there we go, so now we are at the boss battle. So as soon as the boss battle begins, you need to run to the left with Mina. Just immediately run to the left. There we go. And then just keep hitting him with Michi. Do as, do as best as you can. But you should have plenty of hearts anyway. Um, when you run into the bushes. But that should be it. Three hits is all it takes. Falling in love with Flea. But that is that then, guys and gals. So another deliciously easy 10 to 15 minute completion. I hope you enjoyed the small part of the game anyway and i hope you enjoyed the guide and i hope that it helped if it did don't forget of course to like comment subscribe and share uh also check me out on all my socials as well twitter instagram facebook and patreon as well and a big massive shout out to everyone who continues to support the show on patreon you guys and gals are the best and sexiest bunch of people i will ever know so <laughs> thank you so so much again for watching guys and gals i'll see you in the next one big la 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 love